Good morning, class. Please, how are you doing? I hope you are fine by the grace of God. I'm also fine. My name is Elvis Ade. This is the e-learning class for general knowledge in art, form two. Form two. Now, last time we met, we talked about the the, we talked about drawing, types of drawing. Now today we are moving on to a new subtopic. A new subtopic. But before I start, I want to ask you this question. Now for instance, if, you are, if your house is by the roadside, okay, your house is by the roadside, and then you go out, you go out, maybe heading to town, Let's, let, let me take that your house, o Oas is your house. Now you step on the road, heading to town. And then, whilst you are going, as you move away from your house, which is Oas, there is something that will happen to your house, which is Oas. When you look back, the way you see that your house wouldn't be the same as your house is. I don't know whether you've observed. So if you let's say your house is Oas, you step outside, moving away from your house. As you move away from your house, you will, you will see your house becoming smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay? That brings us to our topic for the day. Perspective. 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 Now, by the end of this interesting lesson, you should be able to explain what perspective is. By the end of, le of this interesting lesson, you should be able to explain what perspective is. Again, you should be able to explain the principles of perspective. Should be able to explain the principle of perspective. And last but not least, you should be able to explain the types of perspective with examples. So by the end of this lesson, you should have three things. One, you should be able to explain perspective. Two, you should be able to explain the principles of perspective. And then three, you should be able to explain the types of perspective with examples. Now let's set the ball rolling. What is perspective? What is perspective? Okay. Now perspective is the drawing of objects and scenes so that they appear to have distance or depth. Perspective is the drawing of objects and scenes so that they appear to have distance or depth. Maybe write this on the board. We are going to discuss. Okay, so perspective is the drawing of objects and scenes so that they appear to have distance or depth. It can also be explained. I'm giving you about two or three definitions. It can also be explained as the act of creating the illusion of distance or depth on a flat surface. It can also be explained as the act of creating an illusion of distance or depth on a flat surface. Let me add that one too. We are going to take time to explain all of them. So,
Okay, so it can also be explained as the, the creation of an illusion of distance or death on the flat surface. When we, when we say illusion, it's something that seems to be, but it's not. It's something that seems to be, but it's not. So let's first start with the first one. The drawing of objects and scenes so that they appear to have distance or death. As I did indicated earlier on, when you step out of your house, as you move away from your house, you will see that the size and the color of your house will begin to diminish. It will become smaller and smaller and smaller until you see it no more. Okay? Until you see it no more. So it is the drawing of objects and scenes. Mind you, it can be objects like shapes, forms, etc. And scenes. So probably make a, a village scene, a festival scene, etc. So the drawing of objects and scenes so that they appear to have distance. The word appear to seems to. In actual fact, there wouldn't be any distance, but you represent it in such a way that it will appear to, or it will seem to have distance or depth. But in actual fact, there will be no distance. Because as you move, the size of your house will be reducing. So it will get to a point that you see your house very, very small. But in actual fact, your house is not that small. But it appears to be small. It will look like it's small, but in actual fact, it's not small. So in order to represent that on the surface, you use the principle of perspective. Now with the second one, you are saying that it is that, that, that of creating an illusion. It's almost like they say that the first one. An illusion, a seemingly. It seems there's a distance, but there's no distance. So creating an illusion of distance or depth on a flat surface. So you do it on a flat surface, you create it. When someone sees it, the person might see that the thing is real. I see the, the paper is going in. But in actual fact, it wouldn't be so. Okay? So we are saying that perspective is a drawing of objects and scenes so that they appear to have distance or depth on the flat surface. Or you can explain it that is the creation of an illusion of distance or depth on a flat surface. Now let's look at the principles of perspective. The principle of perspective. Every good perspective is based on certain principles. Now, the, the principle of perspective is straightforward. The principle of perspective states that the principle of perspective states that objects, scenes, forms that are close or that are closer to the viewer appears bigger and brighter as compared to those that are in a distance. The principle of perspective states that objects, scenes, forms, etc. that are closer to the viewer appears bigger, brighter, shinier than those that are in the distance. So for instance, if I'm here and then I have about 100 people in a queue in front of me okay so as i'm standing here i might have 100 people in a queue in front of me right in front of me now somebody at the back might be very very tall and fairer compared to the, the somebody in front of me but those who are in front of me i will see them bigger and clearer and brighter than those that are in the distance okay so objects that are closer to the viewer appears bigger, brighter than those that are in the distance. Please, are we okay? So if, if I have about 10 houses that are aligned, I'll see those that are closer to me more clearer and brighter than those 
that are away from me. But in actual fact, it might be that those that are afar might be brighter, realistically. But in, with the principle of perspective, I will see those that are closer to me as brighter than those that are in a distance. Okay? Good. Okay, so that's that. So let me write it there. So I state again, the principle of perspective states that objects, scenes, and forms that are closer to the viewer appears brighter and clearer or bigger than those that are away from the viewer or those that are in the distance. So that is the principle of perspective. Now let's look at certain key terms in perspective before we come to the types of perspective certain key terms in the pers in, in, in the in perspective because we, before we come to the types of perspective when we get to know those terms it will inform us or it will educate us as to how the types work so let's get to know them first of all let's take horizon horizon somebody will say horizon in perspective we pronounce it horizon now, what is horizon? In perspective, what is horizon? What is horizon in perspective? Okay. Now, horizon is the seemingly imaginary line. It is the seemingly imaginary line on which the earth and the sky meet. It is the seemingly imaginary line on which the earth and the sky meet or you can say it is the imaginary line on which the earth and the sky seems to meet so you can you can you can write it in two folds you can say it is the seemingly imaginary line on which the earth and the sky meet or you can say it is the imaginary line on which the earth and the sky seems to meet Let's take time to explain it, but let me write on the wall first. Okay, 
the seemingly imaginary line on which the earth and the sky meet, or it is the imaginary line on which the earth and the sky seems to meet. Now, when you when when you are when you look from afar, when you look from afar, let's say you come outside of your house and you look from afar, you will see that there will be a point where the earth and the sky will seem to meet, as if the earth uh, the sky has fallen on earth. When you come outside of your house and you look afar, you will see that there will be a line, and on that line it will look like the sky has fallen on the earth. Okay, that line is what we call horizon. After this lesson, you can go out and experiment. You will see it when you come out of your house. When you look afar. You will see that it will look like the sky has fallen on the earth and there will be a line between them. That line is what we call the horizon. So for instance, Okay, now let's look at this diagram I have on the board. This is a form of perspective. Now this, this is a road. Now when you look at this point, this particular point, this, this line here, you will see that, as let's say you are standing here, when you look from afar, you will see that you will get to a, a point where you will not see again. What you will see is the sky and the earth meeting on a line. That line is what we call horizon. Okay? So, we are going to use this particular diagram to define another point. So, let me keep it there. So, horizon is the seemingly imaginary line on which the earth and the sky meet. Now, let's look at the second one vanishing point. Vanishing point. Mm -hmm. Vanishing point. What is vanishing point? What is vanishing point? Vanish. When we say vanish, disappear. Vanish, disappear. When we say vanish, it means disappear. So it's more or less like disappearing point. Disappearing point. What is vanishing point? In perspective. Because vanishing point might have a meaning in a different cause. But in perspective, what is vanishing point? Now, vanishing point is the point. Vanishing point is the point where all parallel lines moving horizontally. Vanishing point is the point where all parallel lines moving horizontally in perspective disappears or diminishes. Vanishing point is the point where all parallel lines parallel or horizontal and horizontal lines in perspective seem to disappear or diminishes i take it again vanishing point is the point at which all parallel lines and horizontal lines in perspective seem to disappear or diminishes for the last time vanishing point is the point where all Parallel lines moving horizontally seem to disappear or diminish. The word it seems. Make sure you don't forget when you come to the horizon, you see the word seemingly seen. That means it is not how it is, but you, when you see it, you will see it as if. That's why when we were defining perspective, we brought something like illusion. It looks like it is this, but it's not. It's not this. It's that. It looks like what it is, but it's not like that. Okay, so vanishing point, let me write on the board so that we discuss.
Okay. So vanishing point is the point where all parallel lines moving horizontally in, the, in perspective disappears or diminishes. Now let's come back to this diagram, this same diagram. Now when you look at this diagram, you see that this, uh, these two are now with, with perspective. The principle in mathematics we state that power lines do not meet. In perspective, it is not applicable. In perspective, parallel lines do meet. So when you go to mathematics, you see that they will say parallel lines do not meet. But in perspective, that principle is null and void. In perspective, it meets. But it meets at a point. That point is what we call vanishing point. So if you look at this diagram here, this line and this line, you see, as they move, as they move, they all converge at a particular point, which is this side. Okay? So, this point is what we call the vanishing point. And this line, this line is what we call the horizon, this particular line, is what we call the horizon. We write the notes, today we are just explaining, we write the notes, so this is just uh, for you to understand. Okay, so vanishing point is the point in perspective where all parallel lines moving horizontally in perspective disappears or diminishes. Or you can say that vanishing point is the point where perspective disappears or diminishes. Vanishing point is the point where perspective disappears or diminishes. So let's say this is Kweku. Now when you come and stand here, as you look afar from you, you see that the road, this is a road. The road will be converging at a point. Okay? You see that the road will be converging at a point where it will get to a point where you see the road no more. All that you see is a point. When you go outside and stand in the middle of the road, as I said, when you finish with the topic, you go outside and do the experiment. When you stand in the middle of the road and you look afar, you see that as the roads move, as it moves away from you, it will be converging, to be converging, and to be closing up, and it will get to a time you will see the road no more. But all that you will see is a point. Let's take, say, a, a friend has visited you, and you are going to escort the person. Now you you stand somewhere, and then as you observe your friend, as he moves away from you, you see that it will get to a point where you see him no more. You see him as a dot. That is perspective. So if you look at this. Now, this particular tree is of the same size as this one. But because of the principle of perspective, you will see this one very smaller as compared to this one. But in actual fact, they are the same. They are of the same size and height. But because of the principle of perspective, you will see this one bigger and you see this one smaller. So, beyond this point, there are a lot of trees there. But because of the vanishing point, you will see no more. So, this is the vanishing point. I hope you understand. There are a lot of trees along this particular stretch of road. But because of the principle of perspective, which states that objects that are closer to the viewer appear bigger and brighter as compared to those that are in the distance. So you see this one bigger and taller than the one here. But they are of the same size. So that point where all the parallel lines converge, so you see these are the parallel lines. Where they all converge is the vanishing point. Okay. Now let's come to the types of perspective. Types of perspective. Types of perspective. of perspective now there are basically two types of perspective there are basically two types of perspective we have linear perspective and then we have aerial perspective they are what linear perspective and aerial perspective
there are two types of perspective. We have linear perspective and then we have area perspective and linear perspective. Now, area, area perspective, it can also be called atmospheric perspective or color perspective. So, in some books, they will give you only area of perspective. Or, and in other books, they will give you color or atmospheric perspective. Don't, 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 don't misinform yourself. They are the same. So, linear, let me add it to you so that you don't get confused. Okay, so area perspective is the same as color perspective and is the same as atmospheric perspective. Okay, and then the second one is linear perspective. Let's start with linear perspective. What is linear perspective? The word is linear from the word line. What is linear perspective? When you look at the, the, the word linear from the word line, so what is linear perspective? We already know what perspective is. So what is linear perspective? Okay, I'm sure you've tried. Now we say linear perspective. Now, linear perspective is the type of perspective where lines are you lines and forms are used to depict or show perspective. Very, very simple. Linear perspective is the type of perspective where lines or forms or shapes are used to depict perspective. So linear perspective is the type of perspective where lines, shapes, or forms are used to depict perspective. So what I have done here is an example of linear perspective. I use lines. So for instance, if I have a house, This is an example of linear perspective. I have used lines to show the distance in this building. Mind you, this side is the same as this side, but because of perspective, you see this side somewhere because that means I'm standing here, I'm standing somewhere here. Okay? So there will be a tree here, very small. This tree is not that small, but because of the principle of perspective, I will see it as small. Again, linear perspective. Let me use real lines to depict linear perspective. And then we move on. So first you have to get your right by the horizon. Okay. Indicate your vanishing point. It can be indicated on any part of the, uh, the horizon. So this is my route. Let me draw another one here. So I'm going to use, uh, let me say, trees, or let me use bars. You see there are some birds flying in the sky. Mind you, the birds, those, those that are in the distance, you see them small. When it's, when it's getting closer, you see them a bit bigger. So let me see this is my real way.
Okay. Now let's look at what I have here. This is an example of linear perspective. I have used lines to depict the perspective. So as I'm turning here, this side is the same as this. But you see that as it moves away from you to be converging at the vanishing point, which is this. So this is an example of linear perspective. So linear perspective is a type of perspective where lines, shapes, or forms are used to depict perspective. Now, one thing that you have to have at the back of your mind is that under linear perspective, there are three types. So there are three subtypes under linear perspective. So under linear perspective, we have three types of linear perspective. Namely, okay, so, so that is that. So this is linear perspective. Now, because of time constraint, we are going to end here. And next time when we meet, we will talk about the three types of linear perspective as well as area perspective. But what I want you to have at the back of your mind is that there are three types of linear perspective. So next week or next time when we meet, we will talk about the three types of linear perspective as well as the area perspective. So today we talked about perspective. Now we got to know what perspective. We said perspective is the drawing of objects and scenes so that they appear to have distance or depth. We got to know some that we go to the principle of perspective, which states that objects that are closer to the viewer appear bigger, brighter, and, and clearer than those that are in a distance. Now we got to know some terms in perspective, which is the vanishing point. And we said that vanishing point is the point at which perspective disappears or diminishes. Or it is the point where all power lines moving in horizontal uh, position disappears. We talked about horizon. Where we said it is the seemingly imaginary line on which the earth and the sky meet. The seemingly imaginary line. And I made mention of the fact that now when you go outside and look afar, you see that it will be it will look like the, the, the sky has fallen on the earth and there will be a line there. That line is what we call horizon. Now we got to know the types of perspective. And we said there are basically two types of perspective, which is the linear perspective and the aerial perspective. Or and we said another name for aerial perspective is atmospheric or color now you end our lesson here and then god will when we meet we'll talk about it but as you are going i want to give you an assignment i want you to go and look for the types of linear perspective when we meet we'll talk about it i'll end here and then you take care of yourself stay safe stay home if you if you don't have anything doing outside don't go outside thank you very much see you some other time bye bye